Hey, uh, how's it going today? Uh, oh, all right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to day one of an at least two week effort, which I am titling Pennies on the Move. Um, if you have not seen my posts about it, here is the situation. Um, also, to anybody who is planning to donate, I would ask that you please hold off donations for just a little bit um, so that I can get through like all the info and I can keep my train of thought and whatnot. Uh, just hold off if you intend to donate uh, right away. Just uh, you know, just just don't don't do it just yet. I will let you know uh, when 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 it's when it's good to go. Um, so uh, I. I am moving. That, that I guess I'll open with that. I am moving out of state. Um, I am starting my own independent living situation from scratch. Um, and throughout my adventures in like budgeting and finding out what would be uh, a sort of comfortable, uh, you know, way to uh, make that happen, uh, you know, safely. Um, to where I'm not just, like, throwing myself into a situation that's, like, more than, like, biting off more than I can chew. Um, I, I decided to run a, uh, a two-week fundraiser, at least two weeks. If, if I need to do it longer, I will do it longer, but the, the plan is at least two weeks. Um, I have a starting goal. If we meet the starting goals, I am leaving myself open to do stretch goals, because the thing about this is that, as much as I know that even this starting goal, you can see it's 15,000, I do not put that number up there lightly. Um, I, I promise, I, I didn't even want to put that much as like the starting goal. Um, but it really did just come down to the fact that like I was budgeting and figuring out everything. And like even that much is like really, really tight when it comes to like moving out of state, uh, affording all of the expenses that come up front, like getting furniture for my place, like necessary things are at least this expensive. Um, and uh, so, you know, I thought, I you know, I'm gonna put the work in. I'm not gonna expect it to come in one stream. I'm not gonna expect it to come in even like two streams. I am definitely moving forward with the with the intent to work towards it. Um, uh, this is a situation though, where, you know, more is gonna be better for me. Um, you know, I totally understand if people can't donate, like it, that's absolutely fine. I get that you know, as always, and like now especially, I understand it's not a small thing to do. I get that. You do not have to feel bad or feel like I am pressuring you to do something you are unable to do. Please keep yourself safe first and foremost. Um, and you know, we'll just, we'll just do our best to work towards whatever we can. Um, so yeah, I am moving out of state. Um, and, uh, I am going to be putting together uh, a couple event streams for this. This is the first one. Um, I will also just be doing like standard streams probably like in between and uh, even still though, every stream within this fundraiser period, all of the donation uh, funds are gonna be pulled together uh, into this overall goal that we will be building towards over the next couple weeks. Um, so uh, yeah, that that's that's really it. I, I um. I just, you know, I asked people if this was going to be something comfortable uh, 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 for for people, for people, like, I, I asked if this was uh, something that people were comfortable with me doing. Um, sorry, I got distracted by chat. Um, and the response was overwhelmingly positive, overwhelmingly generous. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I was, I was, like, really reassured that uh, this was, you know, something that was, you know, that people were comfortable with, enthusiastic about, and uh, so I'm just, I'm just gonna try it, you know, I'm going, I'm going for it, um, and uh, I'm gonna put the work in, I'm gonna make this happen, uh, because this has been something that has been a long time coming, I have been talking about the possibility of moving out for, like, years now, I have been especially ruminating on how to do it uh, this year, um, I already have, like, a location in mind. I've even, like, sent in an application for the apartment. So, like, you know, it's it's not, it, like, I am not, 
I, I have, like, a plan. Like, this is very much not just me, like, asking for money just hypothetically. Like, like things have already been, like, budgeted like crazy. Like, I have so many documents that I've, you know, like, written out expenses and, and income and, and fucking, like, like, checklists and all that stuff. Like, this is very much, like, a calculated minimum ask. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, so today, what's on the docket today is I'm going to be doing something that might be a bad idea. <laughs> this might be, like, a way bigger thing for me to start off with than I should. Because um, this was a rather impromptu decision. I came up with the idea last night, like, right before I went to sleep. And uh, I spent, like, maybe an hour deciding whether I wanted to do it or not today. So I'm going to do my best to, like, pace myself for this. But the goal is to play through the newly released today uh, Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated and get the Platinum Trophy on the PS4 in one in one sitting. Essentially one sitting. I mean, I'm going to take breaks. Like, this is going to... Like, if I can do this properly, barring any technical difficulties in between, uh, I, I, I'm, this is going to be a long stream. Speaking of technical technical difficulties, I will say though, um, in in a display of probably the the worst timing ever known to mankind as a whole, um, it is apparently forecasted to thunderstorm a lot today, specifically ranging from now to like six p.m. in the evening. Um, <laughs> so. I don't know what that is going to do to my stream. I'm I'm going to push forward if it ends up being a situation where it's bad enough to where like the like my power cuts out or the stream like or the internet cuts out or anything like that. I will let y'all know. Uh we're going to do our best to work within these limitations, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to I'm not going to stop just for that. I'm 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 literally just going to go until nature forces me to quit. Um, or hopefully until I, I finish the goal. Um, uh, not the donation goal, the, the platinum goal, the donation goal. Again, that's a two week deal at least. So we're, we're still, we're still extending that. Um, but yeah, so, um, I just want to level with y'all. <laughs> like this is, this is so important to me. This, uh, this move, um, I, uh, I, you know, it's, it's a, definitely a situation where, like, I understand if people can't contribute. I am not pressuring anybody. Um, I, I am not entitled to any of your support. But I am, I am, like, I am asking now more than ever, I think. Like, like this is definitely a situation where if we can reach past these goals, then it is, you know, it's, it's like, I, you know, I'm not asking for, like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, like, we don't have to. I, I I don't even know what I'm saying. I like I'm I'm doing this all off the cuff and like I'm just trying to be genuine here because like oh god I've been I've been like I have been needing to do this for a very long time. Um and and it really only was like recently that I felt confident in making this kind of thing happen. And I cannot tell you the kind of fucking joy and and stability and like just quality of life that would come with me, like finally being able to have my own place. Um, and uh, I, I, you know, I, I just want to say, like, even if you can't do it, if you can't do anything at all, that's fine. But even if you can do like a little bit, um, I really do think it, it'll make a big difference. Um, you know, you don't have to give an exorbitant amount. Um, but, uh, you know, anything at all is really going to help. And uh, I just really, I want to I wanna see this happen. And um, I, I'm going to do my best. Um, and I know that, you know, asking for as much as I am. And this, again, I just, I want to say, this is a minimum. <laughs> like, this is very much like, I mean, maybe not like minimum, minimum, minimum. But this is very much like it is. It's even. It is hard to even budget like within that fifteen thousand. I'm. I'm doing my best for sure. Like I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to go crazy with the ask. But like, if we can reach that early, I, 
I'll do some stretch goals and I, you know, I, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll go for as long and as far as people are comfortable with me going. I obviously don't want to feel like I am, I don't want people to feel like I am like taking advantage of people or like asking for too much or like overstepping boundaries or anything like that. Like that is so, so much not my intention. I, I know that like I have a responsibility with my platform and I take that so seriously, like, like every day. I, 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 I just, I do my best to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I am, I am using my platform for overall good and, and, and comfort and, and, and good things. And, you know, I never want to give in to greed or, or like exploitation. Uh, so, you know, as long as y'all are comfortable with me asking for, for specific amounts, then like, then I'll, I'll do that. And it's, it's, yeah. How long is the fun going for? I've said it a couple times, but I know people are still kind of filing in. So uh, the the fundraiser right now is set to a deadline of uh, two weeks. Um, if we need to go for longer, I am going to stretch it for longer. Um, currently, I'll go ahead and say um, the current... If my application is accepted for this apartment, uh, I just sent it in last night. If it's, if it's accepted... Um, the current start date for the lease, so like the move-in date, would be like July 31st, August 1st. So we have like at least a month or so. Um, so I'm starting with a two-week uh, period, and if we need to stretch past it, I I'll stretch it past as much um as much as I as much as I can, but as much as I need to. Um, but yeah, so um. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and just let people know how to donate. I'll I'll open up donations when I'm done with that and then uh I yeah, I'll I'll try not to make it last too long because uh holy shit, the, I I I took on a big big goal for this for this first game. Like like I platinuming this game in one sitting. It's not the hardest platinum. I went through the trophies. It seems very possible. Um but it could still be a very long stream, so I I need to start it as soon as possible. Um so if you would like to contribute to the to the moving goal, um, if you'd like to help us reach that reach that massive first goal, um, and possibly even stretch past it, if that is something people are you know in a position to do and okay with me doing, uh, down the road, um, the way to do that is to go to my donation link, my Streamlabs donation link. There are two primary ways you can get access to that link. Holy shit! Hold on, not yet. <laughs> Thank you, but not yet. Hold on. I need to, uh, I got to tell people about it. Um, uh, there are two ways to get access to that link. Um, the first way is uh, if you are on my Twitch page, uh, there is a button that says click here to donate. It's a big pink button. It's right next to the chat rules. Uh, it's, it's right next to all like my general stream info. Um, if you uh, If you click on that button or tap on that button if you're on mobile, uh, that'll take you directly to the link. If you can't find the big pink donate button, no matter what you do, that is okay. There is another very easy way to get access to the link, and that is by typing the command exclamation point donate in chat, sending that in chat. Um, Streamlabs will come up and uh, give you a link to that. It should be a link that is uh, something like streamlabs.com slash snapscube or like slash snapscube slash tip, something like that. Uh, if you click on that link from chat, then uh then it'll uh it'll it'll take you right to the page you can donate through there that is the only way to contribute to the moving goal directly so you know i i you know i'm still keeping like subs open if you want to sub to the channel you get bonuses for that if you want to like send bits and ads and like watch ads and stuff those still contribute to my twitch income but i will say none of those contribute to the moving goal specifically so if you want to guarantee that your money is going towards the move-in goal um, then, uh, then, then you need to go through the Streamlabs link. Uh, there are a couple ways you can donate through that link. There's a PayPal option. I think there's a direct, like, credit card, debit card option. So, you know, there are some options through that link. Just click through, see what you can do. Um, you can donate as much or as little as you want. Uh, it's a minimum $5 donations to get your donation alerted on screen. Uh, but everything goes through, even if it's under $5. It's just, I, I have to have that minimum there to sort of, uh, like, prevent spam. Uh, I just needed some sort of minimum. Five dollars seemed reasonable. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, so okay. Um. Oh, also, yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, let me fix that. I, I, 
I already widened the donation bar a little bit, but I'll, I'll go ahead and widen it a bit more. It's, you know, it's a big goal. Let's give it a big bar. There we go. <laughs> that seems about right. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and say, uh, since this stream is going to be a big ass, probably very tiring stream, I'm not going to do a fan art showcase. I, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack that on the end. Um, if you want to do fan art for the stream and use the, uh, hashtag snap stream art tag, or like just tag me on Twitter in it or something, I'd love to see that. I'll, I'll share pieces if, if pieces come in and all that stuff, but I, I won't do an on screen showcase uh this stream because we're already i'm already really pushing it my stream stamina has been low lately so i don't even know why i decided this was a good idea but that's okay you know we live and we learn we make mistakes oh yeah this is happening we make mistakes and we make great cakes y'all ever had y'all ever had have y'all have y'all ever had just like a solid bunt cake that shit rules. Anyway. Okay. Um, well, I guess in terms of housekeeping, that's all I can really think about. Oh, there's also merch. There's SnapQ merch. That doesn't that doesn't contribute to the to the moving goal, but if you want to buy some merch, that just helps me out in like general income. Uh so that is a exclamation point merch in chat if you want to check those out. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'll go ahead and catch up with these donations that have already come in. And I'll go ahead and say Yahoo! I'm good to receive other donations now. So, uh, let me, let me catch up here. Kenny Tom Cacul Tom Tacular donated $10 and said, Hello, it is me, the voice of Nickelodeon, SpongeBob SquarePants, and not Ellie, helping with the moving fund. Don't forget to make arrangements for Tom Kenny Day. Thank you so much, Tom Kenny. <laughs> um... Evelyn donated $100 and said, Secret Penny, get money time. Thank you so much. Uh, Squid Pistols donated $100. Said, so this, this past week has been hard. Having Scary Truth exposed for a creator I used to love with that. I am grateful to have someone like you to be a pure, accepting, safe space online for everyone. Thank you, Penny, for everything you do. Keep shining bright. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I mean, hey, listen, I'm not perfect, but I, I do my best. And um, the kind words mean, mean a lot. Thank you so much. Um... M Peach donated ten dollars. No message, but thank you so much. Holy shit! Oh god. Okay. Uh, oh god. Fuck. Okay. Keech Cake donated ten dollars. Said your streams absolutely light up my day. I'm happy to support you how I can. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, D donated five dollars and said hi. Oh my god. <laughs> D donated five dollars. Said hi, Penny. I found your content through Tumblr, and I'm so happy to be supporting an amazing content creator and person. Hope to donate more money to you in the future once I get my paycheck. Good luck with the movie. Thank you so much. Please keep yourself safe above all else. Um, I know that I, I know, again, I know the goal is a lot. Like, I, I am I am very self-aware about that. I, 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 I would not have put a number like that on screen if I didn't have to. Um, but, but please make sure you're keeping yourself safe. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I, there's, there's still more to go. AMGG donated $10 and a bunch of heart emojis. Thank you. Evelyn donated another $100 and said, check this out. Funny money for Penny Move. Good luck, Penny. I think I'm going to start looking to move soon, too. Hell yeah. Best of luck. Best of luck there. Thank you so much. Um, Pork Chimp 8 donated $100. Said, love all your streams and videos, Penny. You work so hard in all your projects in this community, and you totally deserve these donations. Thank Don't you. That is hyphen between spider and really, really sweet. Candy Arachnid donated $18. Said, hi, Penny. Sending lots of love. And good vibes for your move. I don't have tons to give right now, but 18 is a lucky magic number in Judaism. So I hope this humble donation can help set the groundwork for a full bar soon. Mazel tov. Thank you. That is so sweet. Y listen, you don't have to worry about giving a big amount. The, the sentiment in and of oh, itself, yeah. any amount, this is happening. any amount helps so much. That is, and the thought behind it, God, that is so sweet of you. Thank you. Um, Kaneko donated $10, said, hey, Penny, your content always makes me laugh and brightens up my day. I'm more than happy to help out a fellow trans goal. Good luck with the move. Thank you. Bugby128 donated $10, said, Hi, Penny, Sonic Riders is one of my all-time favorite games, and watching you in Marble play through it was Yahoo! delightful. Thanks for all the content, and I wish you a happy move. Thank you so much. Pure donated $5, said, Through your stuff, I met a lot of really good friends, had a ton of laughs. I hope you can get a place of your own. Thank you so fucking much. 
Uh, Drillalog donated $10. So thank you for hours of great entertainment. Hope this move goes as smooth. Yo, I'm like close to tears. <laughs> goes as smoothly as possible. Oh, thank yeah. you. yeah. This is happening. Uh, Kira Kusai donated $20 and said, you got this. Thank you, Kira. Uh, Shardshire donated $50 and said, I am no longer a broke bitch. I must use this power for good. Good luck, Penny. Stay beautiful. Thank you. Um, Tonks H donated $400. Holy shit. I don't even know if that's come up in the in the in the queue yet. Um, uh, Tongs H donated four hundred dollars. Said I'm so excited Yahoo! for you, Penny. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, oh yeah, that's about to come up. I'm not great at thinking of funny donation messages, but I'm so happy to be able to support you in your move. Thank you. Thank you so fucking much. Um. Bramble Shanks donated twenty five dollars and said, "Hope your move goes smoothly." Thank you. I mean, hey, listen, it's <laughs> I. Ah, oh, thanks, loves. I got a lot of hope. Um, Orange Juice Box donated twenty dollars and said, "Love Penny Squad, rise up." Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a stopping point. I'm gonna have to find a stopping point soon. You know what? I'll I'll go ahead and stop here. I'll stop here. Um, don't worry. I will. I'll I'll like put a holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, so what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the alert sound down and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the game. Cause we got a lot of ground to cover. Um and uh I uh I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna like save my place in the donations queue. Um Oh my god. Yeah, I I was I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am crying a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I oh god, okay. Um let's let's do this shit. Okay. Um, all right. So currently, I, I actually started playing this last night. Um, so currently, we have the we have a cup we have a couple trophies already. Um, let's go by earned date. So we have jellyfishing spatula seeker, jellyfish jam, time for soil. We have four trophies, and there are the rest of them right here. The thing about it is that I was looking through the trophy list last night, and I'm going to be real. I was looking through the trophy list last night, and I'm going to be real. It doesn't seem unattainable. It, like, seems like... It's, like, a really reasonable platinum. Maybe a little less reasonable in one day, but that's why we go all out with these things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, fucking... I'm going to get going. Let's see. I have um I have some opinions about this game as well. It's definitely good. It's good. I I would definitely I'll just like just as a quick summary about my thoughts on Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated so far. Um Oh my god. I'm wondering if I should turn off the alert sounds just so that I don't know. I'll turn them I'll I'll keep them just on low volume right now. Anyway, um This is a good game. I would recommend this. Um, if you have if you have never played SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom before, I would recommend this even as like a first time experience. Um, specifically because I actually think this game is a little worse if you have played the original. Because there are a few little polish tweaks here and there that they have done that actually kind of make the game feel a little worse in, in specific ways. In particular, um, Patrick kind of sucks to play. I'm not going to lie. His portion in Jellyfish Fields was not, was not encouraging. Um, his throwing mechanics are very gross. Um... Like, something is weird with the way those physics work. So, um, uh, anyway, uh, otherwise, though, I mean, the game, here's the thing, is that a lot of my concerns about the game to begin with, like, before it came out, were actually related to the graphics, um, and you can definitely tell that this is more of a budget title. Like, this is not, like, the biggest budget, like, insane trilogy or, like, reignited trilogy style 
remake. Like, this doesn't have, like, the most budget in the world backing it, but it does look very pretty. The hub world is actually quite gorgeous. Um, it's all very saturated, uh, so it's it's a little bit it's a little bit harder on the eyes at first, but um, it does look pretty. So I'm gonna let's just get into. We're already oh my god, we're like 10% of the way there. Holy shit! Thank you all so much. Okay, let's um let's get into it. So I I'm I'm curious what we should prioritize first, like. Should I beat the game first and then go back and fill in the space? Or should I take it world by world and 100% each world? I'm kind of leaning towards the latter. Um, we'll see. I, 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 it's something I need to, yeah, world by world. World by world feels like it would feel the best to me. Um, also, let me know how everything is sounding audio-wise if I need to adjust any audio settings. Look at this, though. Look at how, look at how pretty this hub world is. I, I definitely, when I saw the hub world, it, um, it definitely, uh, got rid of a lot of my fears personally. Um, I will say the game, at least on console, I'm playing the PS4 version so I can even get the platinum. Uh, on console, it has, uh, texture pop-in issues quite a bit. Um, so that is something to, I guess, keep in mind. Um, I don't know how it is on PC. I have the PC version, but specifically for the Platinum, I am playing the PS4 version. Um, so I have all the spatulas and jellyfish fields. I'm going to run through and see if I can't get all the socks, though. So that's, that's, that'll be our first, that'll be our first thing. Yeah, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn the game up and I'm just gonna turn the sound effects and stuff down some more. Like the sound effects could stand to be a little quieter. The music is pretty quiet in the mix by default. Um, okay. So is the dialogue, holy shit, okay. Uh, so sock run, sock run. We gotta, we gotta search every nook and cranny here for, for socks. Um, we have eight out of 14. So that's that. I, I am also going to probably need to pick up as many shiny objects as possible for Mr. Krabs. There's not a Mr. Krabs related trophy, but there is a 100 spatula trophy. And I... I'm not entirely certain uh, if getting 100 spatulas is possible without doing the Mr. Krabs thing. I'm going to assume it is not possible without giving shiny objects to Mr. Krabs. So we'll be collecting a lot of those along the way, just just for safety. Um, um, I, <laughs> I, I. Part of me kind of feels like this is likely going to be fucking murder on the stream bitrate. So if it looks a little crunchy, I can raise the bitrate a little bit. I lowered it a, a tad um, to make up for any frame drops I was getting because of the storm. Um, but things seem relatively stable right now. So if I need to raise the bitrate a little bit, let me know. Um, okay, so far, I mean, I, I, it's, it's, oh, oh, wait, oh, okay. So that makes sense. I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to come back here with Patrick, it seems. Oh, you know, okay, wait, it's likely, okay, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go on ahead. I'm gonna switch to Patrick. I think I should then finish the level with Patrick? Oh. Okay. So some of these, some of these are move locked. So actually, maybe it would be better, maybe it would be better for me to to go through the game first, like just finish the game, get all the moves, and then and then come back and finish each world. Huh. I'm very curious. Whatever I do, I need to, I need to yeah. It's if if they weren't move locked, then I would I would say, you know, We'll just go world by world, but, um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's, 
Let's at least start doing that. Um, so let's go back to Bikini Bottom. Uh, blah. <sighs> We're already almost at 16... 1600. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go. I think we're gonna at least get all of the moves, and then we'll clean up from there. Um, have I platinum any other game before this? Yeah, I have platinumed. Uh, I've platinumed Marvel Spider-Man. I have platinumed Sly Cooper One, and I am currently very very close to platinuming Inf Infamous Second Son. I'm, uh, I'm officially kind of on on a bit of a platinum train. And when when this game came out and I looked at the trophy list, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'll see, yeah, you see that? Once see that good old metropolis. texture popping? Now a debris covered crater. Okay, we're gonna skip this. SpongeBob, the robots we're gonna skip this too. Apologies for anybody who wants to see all the fun new animations. We do not have all the time in the world. <laughs> Otherwise, I would say fuck yeah. Oh! Oh, that animation looks very nice. Oh, you can jump! You can jump with the damn, uh... Oh, wait, could you jump anyway? Um, now I'm, now I'm confused. I, I think you could jump anyway. I think I'm just... Wait. No, no, part of me feels like you couldn't jump with the ball in the original. I, I can't. Uh, Platinum, by the way, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, on PlayStation, um, games come with, uh, trophies, uh, sort of similar to Xbox's achievements, uh, that you, that you get and are attached to your profile, and they just, you know, you get them, like, developers put them in when they release a game, and, uh, if you do certain things within the game, if you do certain things within the game, you unlock trophies. Um... Some games, most games, but there are a few games without them, um, a lot of games have what is called a Platinum Trophy, which is essentially just a trophy that you get when you get every single other trophy. Um, they are, um, they are very much a, a completionist reward of sorts, so... So they're not they're they're definitely nothing to sneeze at. Some a lot of platinums are easier than us. Like like the the um the platinum for Spider-Man in particular is like ridiculously uh not ridiculously easy, but it is it is a very simple platinum to get. You you can you can get it, it is it is easy to get by virtue of the game being very easy to want to play for that long cuz platinums are mainly a time investment. Um Time, time and skill, but a, a lot of it does come down to just time investment. Um, because, you know, the skill kind of just naturally comes with the time. Um. I like that you can still do that. There's a nice crunch to the way you slap them now. Would you rather have SpongeBob the movie game remake or update of voice lines for Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man? I mean the former. Like, you know, you're, you're talking about the difference between a couple less than perfect but still serviceable voice lines versus an entire new game to play. I was actually, I was talking about this to Marvel last I night. Um, I was gonna, uh... No, I was gonna. I, I was talking about this with Marble last night. Not that specifically, but I was playing this with Marble on call, and I mentioned, I was like, I'm wondering what I would love to see come from the existence of this remake is, you know, what's been happening with all these other, like, beat-for-beat -beat remakes of games is if this game is successful, I would love to see... Uh, THQ Nordic, like, hire on Purple Lamp Studios to make a new Spongebob Collectathon in this style. Like, I- I hope that that is in the cards. Um... Cause that would be- that would be so good. Like, I- you know, I love this game. But, you know, the thing about this game is that this is a game I've played time and time again. And it's still fun. There's no doubt about that. But it is still a game I have played very much already. Um, 
if they were to make a new one with like the same team, oh my god, could you imagine? That would be so good. Well, potentially. I'd I'd hope it would be good. It would be it would def it would be it would be a good idea for sure. I can't speak for the actual end results until we get to that point, if we ever get to that point, but it would be a good idea nonetheless. Hmm. Oh, it has this animation. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, the, the, the transitions are a little janky, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. Bringing it around town. Okay. Oh. This should be easier. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Easier, but weirder. That didn't feel like actual physics. That definitely felt like, uh... Weirdo, like, kind of... Pre- pre-baked animations. That was weird. Anyway. I'll take it. Whew. You know, actually, like... I was really confident about this- about this Platinum run. Actually playing the game now, like starting it, and just like, actually making my way. Oh god, I'm- this? I'm nervous. This? <laughs> oh, these aren't, uh, simply slidey anymore. Interesting. I guess it wasn't really the most necessary touch. These are definitely, um... These are very slippery slidey in the original, just just so you know. Up for a game of SpongeBob. Oh wait, steering wheel first. Fuck. Fuck. Get out of there. Shit. Is that not can I not step on that? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, listen. Okay, you're doing something funky with this. You want me to go some other way. <laughs> it looks like. Okay, fine. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, that's like oh my god, they like really wonked up with like some some pre-made Hi Gary! Some preset assistance there. That, that, that is that is clearly not purely physics based. I love opening presents. Which is also which is also the situation with the uh with the um with the the melon throwing. So I, I mentioned that Patrick was the worst character to play so far because his melon mechanics are fucking ridiculously gross. Um I don't know what they did. Uh, but, uh, it's definitely, it is less physics-based. Um, it wasn't the most physics-based, but it's, it's less physics-based than it even was to begin with. Um, and it does feel rather yeah, gross compared to the original. Breeze. I could, um, I could see it not being much of an issue, again, if this is your first experience with the game. Which is why I would still, which is why I would still recommend this to a newcomer who kind of just wants the general experience of Battle for Bikini Bottom without, um... You know, without needing to, like, invest in, like, an old console or, like, trying to get an emulator to work properly. Like, if you want Battle for Bikini Bottom in a way that, like, looks gorgeous, is HD, and, like, is easily accessible on modern platforms, like, this is really good. Oh, okay, let's see how Sandy feels. This is the first time I've, I've, I've touched Sandy in this game, so, like, oh, shit. Okay, well, first of all, I love her jumping animations. Oh, she's so cute! Look at her go! Hell yeah. All right. Oh yeah, they want me to... There's another one. Okay. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's... It's... 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 It is no more better or worse than the original. How are attacks? Okay. I actually... You know what? I actually kind of like how her attack feels. Um... 
better in this one. Like her primary chop attack, I, it feels a little bit better in this game. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it 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 is. Yeah, it's uh, Seregulus. It's snappier. It's it's great. Um, that feels better. See, in in the case of like SpongeBob's attacks, again, it's like all these little minor polish things that are different in this game that I think feel better in the original, but. This is the first time where a, a character's primary attack actually feels better in this game. Actually, you know what? I think Patrick's primary attack Someone feels better, better in this zombies. game, too. SpongeBob, I think, is the only one who doesn't have a better feeling primary attack. Um, THQ kind of still exists. Uh, it's THQ Nordic, essentially... Uh, THQ went under, um, and then the rights to, like, the THQ name and, like, all of their properties kind of, like, merged with another company named Nordic. So they kind of, um... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh man! It's not physics-based. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. That's... That's a lot less fun. Oh no. <laughs> that's that is that's that's just full on Take that. a pre-baked animation. Also I can't. That's for messing with Texas. Aw. That's a little that's a little disappointing. Yeah, it, it it feels pretty jank too, I'm not gonna lie. Aw oh, man. And you, like, you have to, like, you have to hold it, too. So I don't even know why... I don't know why they would have you still need to hold it. Um... If if it's just a pre-baked animation. Like, just, just, just... It would... Like, the pre-baked animation is inferior, but, like, it definitely would feel better if it was just a button tap. But no, if you just tap it, then she lets go. Nah, th that kind of thing it definitely isn't going to be changed in just a patch, unfortunately. Oh, okay, sock up there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go back around here. It was worth it. I mean, we're, we're going for the hundo anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh my god, I cannot believe we we're already at $1,600. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Music still slaps, but that's just because it is just straight up the original music. I think they just uh, remastered it into stereo. Oh, okay. You can do that in midair. That's fun. I don't know if you could do that in the original. I don't, I don't think, at least not in a way that felt good. Hmm. Okay, so... I could probably make it over there from here. There we go. Hell yeah. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Yeah! Oh, fuck yeah. Alright. First spatula. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to... Okay. You know what I'll do? Because I'm gonna... I'm gonna pace myself for this stream. Hey, I'm gonna take... What's shaking? I'm gonna take at least one short break every, like, two hours or so. Um... So... Uh... I'm gonna... God, her jumping animation is so cute! Look at... <laughs> I love that so much. Anyway, I'm gonna take at least one short break every two hours. Um, just so that I'm 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 certain I'm not like overextending myself as much as possible. Um and uh, you know, I'm able to like keep keep the blood flowing and all that. Um so what I think I'll do is I will I will take dedicated uh donation breaks when I come back from those short breaks. So like every two hours, here's what I'll do. Every every two hour mark, every two hour mark, I will take a short break. 
then I will come back from break screen and catch up with a little bit of donations and then go forward, then so on and so forth from there, if that makes sense. I do like, um, I, I do like the, the new kind of like guide indicators as to like where projectiles are, are being shot. That, that's nice. <laughs> Let's get SpongeBob's underwear. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Oh, <laughs> uh, Sandy's great in this game. Fuck you. Okay, that's better. I another another small polish thing. I I know I'm doing a lot of nitpicking on this game. I swear this game is good. Like I I like this remake. This is a very nice, nicely put together remake. Um, especially visually, the the art direction of this game is gorgeous. Um, however, I will say, uh, another little like polish thing that I kind of wish had been refined a little bit is, uh, it's, it's a very small thing. It's not necessary at all. So it's definitely a nitpick. It doesn't affect the quality of the game, but, um, when, like, tiki's explode, uh, especially from a distance, or really when anything explodes and, like, like, drops, uh, shiny objects, like, here, let me show you. You may notice they drop first and then magnet towards you. In the original, it's a very small difference, but in the original, they immediately magnet towards you. And it's not some, it's, it is not something I blame them for overlooking as like a difference in feeling. Um, but it does feel so much better when they instantly magnet towards you. It is, it is a lot more satisfying to make things explode and have them have just like a whole menagerie of shiny objects fly towards you. Um, it is a very small thing, but it does, uh, it, it, I, it's something I noticed. Like, the fact that I noticed it, I think kind of speaks for itself. It just, it feels a lot better. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to make some stops here. <laughs> Next time around, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going this way. Okay. Once you get used to the s oh shit! Once you get used to the swinging, it's not too bad. I do really wish they kept it physics based though. That that is that really disappointed me. <laughs> the game currency literally called shiny objects. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the primary most common collectible. Oh, also. Another, another polished thing that is a lot worse in this game. Uh, the fucking, uh, the, the teleport boxes kind of suck in this game. They function exactly the same, but for some reason, they feel a lot less forgiving to jump into. Like you, like I, I, I found multiple instances. I had to just like do some weird fucking like finagling with the control stick to get my character to fit inside the teleport box. Um, and on top of that, there's no like, there's no like teleport animation, like there is in, in the original. When you when you do it when you do a, a a teleport box in the original, um, God, I I hate that I'm saying the words in the original so much. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be that person, you know. I'm just just conversation. Um. Anyway, uh, uh, but in the original, so to speak, uh, <laughs> uh. The the teleport boxes had like a very nice little uh, animation. Oh fuck, I really fucked that up. A nice little animation where um when you jump in, they close and they do a fun little like squash and stretch rattle around. Uh, and I don't know. It is it, it it made me sad. It made me sad when when I didn't see that in this one. I think it would have looked really nice with the new art direction. Okay. Speaking of. Whoop. Um. Yeah, see, a drop swing like that is a lot more satisfying in the original because, uh. Because it's physics based, at least a little. I, 
I do they not show the loading with the hand anymore? Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't want to point it out specifically just because I didn't feel like it, but like I didn't notice that. Um, it looked like the hand came up and like grabbed her, but then it just kind of like cut to a, a a standard loading screen. Okay, it's like weird choices. It's like there's there are a couple like weird choices here and there, specifically in the realm of polish. Um, again, I'll I'll return to my initial point that like you can definitely tell this is a budget title. Um, so I I don't I don't blame the developers at all. Like I I feel like they seem to have done a very good job with with whatever budget and amount of time they were given. It, 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 and, you know, it, it does make me hope that, like, Nickelodeon and THQ are, like, considering a partnership to make another game of this style because, you know, if they have the proof that this game has done well, which I hope it is, I hope it's doing great, because, you know, if they have proof that this game sold well, they would have that much more reason to put more budget and put more time into it. Like, if they, if they know that there is a market for this, then... That would be so cool. I I would love another SpongeBob collectathon platformer by this team. I'm getting dizzy just watching. Shit. Nope. Stop. 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 Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Okay. The shinier, the better. I'll get this really quick. Ooh. Ah. Oh, fuck. Wait. I'll get this. No. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh God. Okay, so I didn't mean to scream. That just, like, really, like... Oh, God, that was close. We got a trophy, yeah. Uh, oh, no, wait, where am I... Where am I going? Can't even tell. Shit. <laughs> yeah! What? Wait, what? The hand just kind of comes up and then gets cut off. What's the point of having it then? Shit. Feeling refreshed. They didn't even change that. It, it feels like it's like... Yeah, it feels like an error of some kind. Again, it's 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 just polish. The 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 primary thing that this game I think is is lacking is a lot of polish. Um which again is understandable. Uh like I don't I don't blame the dev team for that. I just wish that uh I don't know. I I just I I guess in that case I just kind of wish that the the publisher and Nickelodeon like had more faith in this to begin with to put that into it. Yeah, I heard there's a patch, too. I actually don't know if I have that or not. I could check really quick. Hold on. Yeah, it's the latest version. I I mean, is the patch out yet? I'll happily, like, take a break to install it at one point if it's not. Oh, see, yeah, I'm, I'm playing on PS4 specifically because of the fucking, uh, that's... That's the goal of the stream, is to get the PS4 Platinum. Okay. Oh, it's not out yet? Okay. Well, in that case... This game will probably get better, which is nice to hear. Nice to know. Uh, where does this go? To Larry. I, I feel like there's more I'm missing here. I kind of want to do one last pass through. I... I dread the possibility of needing a walkthrough at some point, but I am not... I'm not... I'm definitely not going to keep myself from using a walkthrough. At some point, if I need to. Like, it, like if it's just taking me too long to cover ground, then... You know.
again, literally with the with the with the canned animation, my thumb wants to just tap the button. I, it would feel so much more satisfying. It that's so weird. Whoa, holy shit. Got good air on that one. Skip those guys. Okay. Um I will go this way again. Whoa, seven gig patch, hold on. Patch is rumored to be about 7 gigs, which is almost as much as the game itself. Hopefully it will fix almost all of the polish issues. Holy shit. Okay. Damn. I mean, I'm- I'm down for it. I just- that- that- that's- that's interesting. I assume just for- for deadline purposes, they had to make this game technically go gold a lot sooner than it was meant to. Which is unfortunate. But it happens. Yeah, the, <laughs> I I mean, hey, if if the patch like takes this game out of what feels like maybe effectively a more of a beta state, then I'm done for it. Too bad you'll have platinum game before the patch comes out. Probably. I mean, if if today goes well, that's the plan. But I mean, I I like this game enough to have played it multiple times within the past like couple months even so I'll 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 play it again in the patch version fuck it Okay I'm going to I'm just taking a quick scope of the land here It's not looking like I'm missing anything super glaring just yet I I didn't go past this it feels like how many? Let me let me look at the numbers. Wait. Five out of nine and eight out of eleven, and then just like a couple different uh, spatulas I haven't gotten yet. Okay, we're actually making pretty good time with this level. It feels like I don't know. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I'm feeling good about this. I just- I just really need to keep an eye out. Oh god, that is scary. <laughs> Music starting up every time you slide is great. That was in the original too, so... I think it was, actually. You know what? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna speak so confidently, because now I realize, listen... I don't know shit. <laughs> That's really what I learn... ...pretty much every day of my life now. Oh, so I can't wait to go back and play more of uh, Jellyfish Fields because, uh, y'all, the cave section in Jellyfish Fields is so pretty in this game. Like, it doesn't even- it doesn't even look really all that different in terms of, like, actual, like, foliage and, like, structural design. Um, but just the way they colored the caves, the way the lighting works, like, oh my god. Whoa! Hold on. What was that? Was that the 100 robots of Spongebob? Whoa! That happened so much sooner than I thought it would. Okay. Cool. Ah! Oh, I'm about to die. Feel like a new Alright. 
Oh no, I just I really fucked up the way they were formating. <laughs> Fuck. Bitch! Oh, sparkly. I feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. An another another minor another minor thing. Um the voice lines. Uh, I, I feel like they could stand to patch in a very slightly lower uh, voice line frequency. Um, specifically in like the opening of the game, there are a lot of voice lines that play when normally they would be a little bit more spaced out. Um, the balance is just like a tad bit too uh, leaning towards the... Uh, Number the, one on the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt. Three it, years running. it leans a little bit towards too much. Like, ju Sometimes just a little bit. A simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. No, I, I like this game a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all. I'm... I'm I'm nitpicking a lot of things because it, it is just, like, things actively to talk about. Um... Like, you know, I... In terms of, like... In terms of like talking about how much I like the game, I mean it's all the good yeah, things about like this game breeze. are just good because they are Battle for Bikini Bottom or because they are like wonderful art direction um and uh like color palettes and shit. Like all all the good stuff is very simple to express. Whereas all the all the little like minor issues with the way that this game is polished are are a lot more like nuanced and are more um set for like further conversation so you know just the fact that i'm making commentary and like observing things i'm i am saying a few more negative things here and there but it is not because i feel more negatively than positively about this game um it is literally just because it, there's more to talk about in that sense like the the positive feelings i have about this game are really simple this game is gorgeous it's really fun it is you know just as fun as the original is to play i would say thus far um, and it is a wonderful, wonderful way to introduce new people to the game. So, that's, that, that's like, that's my verdict about the game. They're like, you know, all, all the talk about polish is just side stuff. Also, hey, Marble's here! And, um, hey, you know what? Marble's also gonna be here, uh, on voice. In case you were curious about that. Hello? Hello! Hi. I'm playing video game. How's how is Sponge Game? It's good. Are you winning at Sponge Game? Oh, I'm winning. I'm so proud um, of you. Oh my god. I have five out of nine socks in this level and nine out of eleven steering wheels, and I almost have all of the uh, spatulas as well. There was some. Um, Are socks was... a collectible in that game? Yeah, Patrick lost. A bunch of his socks all over the place and you have to collect them and return them to him <laughs> that's really sad yeah i know you hate to see it you really do is that gonna explode this thing yeah there we go shortcuts um babe we're already almost at two thousand dollars <laughs> i saw that's incredible um yeah by the way to anybody who is uh just joining recently uh just just as a quick reminder um I am uh, I am raising funds to uh, facilitate a safe and comfortable move out of state. Um, I am moving out of my parents' place um, uh, for the first time ever, and uh, it is it is a big deal. I am starting from scratch. I only have like a few pieces of not e not even a few. I have like one or two pieces of furniture to my name that I can actually bring with me. Um, I am starting from scratch in a big way. I need to be able to afford like transportation. Like I'm, I'm considering like getting a car, um, and uh, you know, I there's like a bunch of upfront fees. It's like it's a, it's a big deal. Um, it's a big deal, and so I I am I am doing a series of streams over the next uh, few weeks uh, to raise money. Um, and I like believe me when I say like every little bit goes a long way. Um, if you have anything at all to spare to help me reach these goals, like, this, this, this is, like, such a big deal for me, and it would just mean the world to me to, like, finally see this happen, because, um, it's been a long time coming, 
and it's been my intention for a very long time, but it, it feels like really only now that I am actually able to make it happen, and that's just, I don't know, it's a big deal. So, if you'd like to contribute to the goal over the next couple weeks, if you can't right away, that's absolutely fine. This is not a one stream event. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing this for a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's going to be the same goal. Uh, you don't have to rush if, if you can't do it right now. Um, but uh, if you'd like to contribute, uh, all all of the regular stream donation channels, that is, um, there is a there is a button in my stream info section. It's a big pink button that says click here to donate. Uh, it's very hard to miss, but if you do miss it, another very easy way to get the donation link is to type exclamation point donate in chat. Uh, send that in chat. You'll get a link to that from Nightbot, uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and, uh, anything at all that you can, that you can maybe send my way, uh, it's not obligated, of course. I'm not entitled to your financial support or any support otherwise, but it, it, it does, it does help, and, and this is, like, I don't know, this is one of the bigger deals I've ever done in terms of, like, raising money or, uh, like, like, personal funds, that is. Obviously, I've done, like, a charity stream before, and that in the grand scheme of things is a bigger deal, but I, I, I assume you know what I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, anyway, all that to say, um, I'm gonna be putting the work in, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing event streams, I have a couple ideas of really fun things I want to make happen, uh, I'll go ahead and say, like, I had the idea of, um, gathering together some of the cast of the, uh, of the Sonic the Hedgehog fan dubs, and, uh, doing, like, live, live cast commentaries. Um, it's something I've actually wanted to do for quite a while, and I think it would be a, a fun time to, to do that as, like, one of the event streams for this ongoing fundraiser, but that's just one idea. Um, I have a couple others, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the situation. Um, I, I am hoping to raise at least... 15,000 over the next few weeks, um, if that is even possible. Um, I, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and just be completely honest and transparent, like, 15,000 is definitely a situation where it's like, that is, even that is a little bit hard to work within, um, factoring in all the ways in which I budgeted, like, needing money for, for expenses and savings, and, like, I have to take a tax cut out of that, I have to, like, there, there's a lot that goes into it, so, this is gonna be a situation where, the, the fundraiser will not end if and when we meet 15,000 because really anything at all over that is going to um is going to help a lot. It is all in the interest of making sure that that my move is comfortable and safe uh, and stable and a situation where I can uh just have myself in a stable enough place to where I can keep putting work back into what I am doing normally and sustain myself from there, you know. Um so, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a, you know, more is better in this case. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely not, I'm not blind to the fact that it's a lot to ask, which is why I am so, so far from expecting, like, this to happen really much at all, uh, and definitely not in just one stream. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of waffling now, but that's the situation. It's, it's, it's a big deal, and I... Just appreciate all the support that y'all are able and willing to give. It, it it would really mean a lot to me. In a big way. Like, this, God, this would be such a big fucking, like, change and improvement in my life. Like, I can't even... I, I cannot even... It, it really feels like it is hard to express with words how, how much of a big deal this would be for me. Like, how much this has been a long time coming. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't really know what else to say, except just reiterate a bunch of old points, so I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. And listen, chat, the sooner that this gets funded, the sooner I get to go visit her, so just, you know, help me out. Help yeah, me out. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, we, we have plans to have, um, Marble come visit- I'm gonna turn the game down just a little bit, just a little bit more. Uh, I, we have plans to have Marble come and visit me in my new place whenever I get situated, so... Do it for in love. In a gay way. Do it for love. Do it for love. Oh, the bungee jumping in this game is a little worse. I'm not gonna lie. Oof. Oof. Whee! 
Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Give me something, please. Ah! How's it going? How's how's your how's your are are you projected to win the platinum by tonight? I mean, it's not the hardest platinum in the world to win. I that really is just gonna depend on like I don't know. I I initially was gonna do it world by world. Like I would I would one hundred percent one world, then go to the next one one hundred percent and go from there. Um, unfortunately, I I completely forgot about the fact that um a lot of the collectibles. Um, even in earlier worlds, are locked by uh, specific moves that you have to unlock later in the game. So, yeah, I am going through the worlds, picking up as much as I can to begin with. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, from there, I am going to once I have all the moves, go back and just like clean up shop. Uh, Hell yeah! In retrospect, um, so anything we can do to promote the stream or anything, um. I, I would say just, you know, uh, share it with anybody who you think might be interested in that kind of thing. Um, I have uh, posts on Twitter uh, with the link, like, advertising. And I have I have a post on Twitter talking about the fundraiser at large, uh, which also includes a link to my Twitch. It's not talking about this stream specifically, but it is still an option. Um, check my Twitter. Check my Tumblr. Um, I would say uh, it's, it's, a, it's Snaps Cube on both, by the way. Um, S-N-A-P-S Cube. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would say just, just do what you can from there. Uh, re, re, retweet the posts as they go on. Um, I'm going to be taking a short break in, like, less than 30 minutes. Uh, so once I, once I take that break and come back, I will, uh, I will post a new post, uh, just reminding people that this is going on and sharing the link again. So, you know, just keep an eye out for that kind of thing. Um, and if you wanna, if you wanna share the other streams in the future as they happen, I, I post links for like each individual stream as it happens. So uh, just keep an eye on my Twitter when streams are going on. Uh, share the links there if you can. It, it 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 does help. So that's one way to do it. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh no! Wait, are you? Is this really just out of reach? That doesn't seem right. What? Hold on. You can do it! Is that too far for me to to wow. touch? Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. No, okay. What? That was so weird. It definitely was for a bit there. Okay. Um You're actually okay. the first person to get that. Okay, Good cool. Work, In the whole world. Here's the, here's the golden spatula. Hi yeah. Um, I am, I am, I'm also gonna have to come back here later to get, uh, another thing. End of the road, come back with the cruise bubble. Yeah. Okay, so I, I need four more socks. I have all the steering wheels, so I just need to go back to Mrs. Puff really quick. And then I need to come back with the cruise bubble. So, um, I might actually, I'll just get the, I'll get the spatula from Mrs. Puff, and then I'll, uh, I'll go to the next level from there. <coughs> Or you know what? I could spend the rest of like the remaining like twenty minutes or so, um, seeing if I can't like locate the rest of the socks in this level, and then start a new level when I come back from break. I, th I think I'll do it that way instead. That seems like a fair bet. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, the situation though is that. The socks are surprisingly hard to find when you get into some of the less obvious ones. It around town. Um. Also, I am almost certain that they they added the jump feature to the sponge ball, which is great. I love being able to jump with the sponge ball. That feels so much better. Hell yeah! Just like golf with your friends. Just like golf with your friends. That's right. That's right. Ooh, we should do another one of those for my uh for the moving fundraiser. <gasps> Hell yeah! I fun. fucking I had so much fun with that game. I want to just fucking play it all the time. It's a and great never game. Stop ever. It's really epic. I love garlic bread. I could just eat it all the time without even stopping. You'd get golf with your friends. Bread makes you <laughs> golf with your friends. <laughs> Huh. Why would I golf with my friends? 
<laughs> Bread makes you golf with your friends. Bread, Bread makes, makes you, you golf with your friends? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Also, babe, uh, breaking news. Sandy's jump animation in this game is adorable. Aw, <laughs> let me see. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Aw, that is cute. Ain't it the cutest? She has like the fucking, ooh. the cutest smile. Honestly, ooh woo. Honestly, ooh fucking woo. Ooh fucking woo, babe. It also kind of leans into whatever your direction you're pushing, which is nice. Yeah. Or at least it did a couple times here and there, I noticed. I'm using Sandy to uh, scavenge the rooftops <coughs> from Town Bikini Bottom for more socks that I may have missed. Uh... Damn. Definitely, um... They're definitely getting hard to find now that I've gotten some of the more obvious ones. These socks are nothing to sneeze at. Why would you sneeze at a sock? That just implies These that it's anywhere near your nose. At. In which case, I don't even know why you have a sock so close to your nose. That just feels unsanitary. Oh, hey, there's one. Yeah, you could die. Yeah, you could die. You could die is the <laughs> How? Uh -huh. uh -huh. That uh -huh. is uh six out of nine. Hell yeah! Please do, I do not. Like I know. Please don't spam nice in chat, but it is nice. Yeah, I don't know if I have any mods in chat right now. I guess I Me. You know. Yeah. Hello. I'm a mod. <laughs> Holy shit! Someone just donated two hundred dollars. Who the fuck was that? Tom Whoa. Kenny. <laughs> Tom Kenny. Wow. Tom Kenny. Thank you. From Sponge. Y'all. Uh, I I literally I I mean some of y'all a lot of y'all I imagine were here for the beginning but like I fucking I cried earlier. Someone donated four hundred dollars. <laughs> Aww. Tox H specifically donated four hundred dollars. Like, like it was, it was one of those situations where like I opened up uh, the floor to donations and they just kind of flooded in. And I, it, I'm telling y'all, like I don't, I, I mean I know I've said it a couple times, but this, this really is like a huge deal for me. <laughs> like unlike a lot of other things before it, and um, it, it really fucking hit me earlier. Ooh, hold on. Is this a- Ooh! Is this secret ecret, or is- Am I just doing this for fun times? Secret ecret egress. Oh, it's looking like it's not secret ecret, but it was fun to come up here. So, hey. If you ever want a good time, <laughs> come up to this, uh, chimney. Sandy's chimney. Oh, oh no! Ah! I Oh, I did the fuck I did the thing again. That's that's really frustrating. Uh a bit of context. Um In this game, babe, they changed the way that Sandy's uh Texas swing move works. Um <coughs> So there there are bits where you can swing on these little like Texas floaties with your lasso. Um In the original game, it is very physics based. You like actually swing you can like control your uh trajectory yeah. you can like swing around you can kind of just like stay on it as long as you want um in this game they literally they turn it entirely into a pre-made animation oh huh. that's it's, sad yeah it, and it, it's it's not it's not not fun um right but it's less fun the problem is and and this is what's been giving me some trouble here and there and this is something I feel like they could address in a patch pretty easily. Um, the problem is, if they were going to stop making it physics based, if they were going to make it a pre, like a canned animation, um, I would have rather they changed the button functionality from a continuous hold to a press, because you still have to keep holding the button to swing. Um, yeah. And it just doesn't feel as good. 
like, if they were going to keep you holding the button to swing, I, I would ask them to make a physics base. If they're not going to make a physics base, just turn it into a button press. That would, yeah. I, I feel like that would feel a lot better. That would feel a lot better to me. Um, and that, and that's, that is what my thumb keeps wanting to do. Like when I, like, cause now my brain knows it's a pre-made animation. And so whenever I do it, my thumb keeps wanting to let go of the button. Um, so that's, that's what just happened there is I let go and then I just <coughs> plummeted because I forgot you still yeah. have to hold it through the whole animation, but you're literally just holding a button throughout an animation. You're not actually like swinging. So that's, I I just find that interesting. It it yeah. like it's it's that kind of like polish thing. It feels like an oversight. Um, I assume if they had more budget and more development time, they could like have the capacity to notice something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think maybe. The remainder <coughs> of the socks might be on the rooftop segment. I'm having a hard time finding any of these other socks. <coughs> oh, I feel like the socks are going to be a big pain in the ass for this for this run. I'm not going to lie. I'm You're not DTS. Vibe. I mean, I'm I'm DTS, but this game might not be DT L M F T S down to let me find well, the socks. I, I see, I knew it, and I wanted to reply with something else, but oh, I I'm sorry. couldn't think fast enough. <laughs> I was like, that's let me find the socks. Yeah. <laughs> My oh, hand was man. on the buzzer. I was like, what is let me find the socks? And I said, oh, two, $200. And I, I said, said, wow, that's a I lot said, of I said, that's right, all right. Let's, what's the next category? Uh, uh, sock find for 500. Ding! This, this, this striped sock uh, is located in the greater annals of downtown Bikini Bottom Rooftops uh, Adventure. What is Argyle? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. All right. Next, let's move on. Next category. <laughs> that is, what is Argyle? All right. Next category. Oh, two socks uh, left. Fuck yeah. I'll take golden spatulas for 300. All right. Golden spatulas for 300. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. This term being used to describe a plant-based patty that some restaurants are now calling the most inconceivable meat alternative ever conceived. Eh. What is improbable Berber? <laughs> I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> You cannot say that on TV. <laughs> oh, can't say that on TV, my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get her out of here, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> also, apparently, um, the version of this game you currently get is is the one without the day one patch. Um, the day one patch is gonna be seven gigabytes, which is literally like 90% of the game's file size in and of itself. So there are a lot of, a lot of polished tweaks they're making in this upcoming day one patch. Interesting. Which, which I'm, I'm down for. It's, and you know, given, again, this does seem to be a budget title. Um, it makes sense yeah. in this case why they would have to do that after the fact to like meet what I imagine are probably strict like THQ Nickelodeon deadlines. Um, because Nickelodeon, well, it was actually, it was actually like uh, Tom Kenny's imposed deadline that they have to keep to. Yeah, 
exactly. Okay. Where the damn are these last two socks? It's two, right? Yeah, two. I only have... I have less than ten minutes to do that. Before what? Before I go on break. Because I said I was going to find the rest of the socks. Or at least try to find the rest of the socks. And if I can do that before I go on break, then when I come back from break, I will catch up with some donations and then move on to another level. Hmm. I'm still playing Crash Paint the Coot. Hell yeah. I never stopped. You never stopped? Nope. Didn't sleep last night, just played Crash oh, Paint the Coot. Oh no. That's not true. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say it's very unhealthy. I uh, slept a little. Here, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? It's walkthrough time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't... I won't... Uh, go to the walkthrough for everything, and I certainly will try not to do it very often. But... The socks in particular... I don't- I don't- I do not want the socks to be... The- the- the be-all end-all of- of failing this mission. So... Yeah, fuck socks. Okay. Um... Gosh. I need something with pictures. Come on. Show me some pictures. Uh... Sock getter. Up, down. All Patrick socks locations. There we go. There we go. Downtown Bikini Bottom. That's what I'm... Okay. Um... Four lasso points. Should you raise the bank in a tall building? Hmm. Okay. I got the broken pipe one. Oh! Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think, I think, I, I think the two of them, I think I know the two of them. Alright, I got this, I think. I believe in you. So one of them I am going to have to come back for, unfortunately. I should have maybe guessed that even some of the sock locations would be uh move move set barred, but I just didn't think to I didn't think to think it. What can I say? Sometimes you don't think to think it, and that's okay. That's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's Where the fine. Fuck am I going? I <clears throat> <laughs> there we go. I hope they don't make me do this challenge again. They probably will. Yeah, here they go. Okay. I'll do it again. Whatever. Fuck. Yeah, that too. I didn't want to be the one to say it. I did. <laughs> I I noticed. I am the purveyor of cuss. I thought you were gonna say you're the purveyor of fuck. I'm the purveyor of fuck. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering. 
Oh, I was wondering. Oh, no you know. way. I might need SpongeBob in here anyway. Ah! Oh, no. This is so nice. Damn it. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Cool. Okay. Better. Yeah, god damn it. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. Ah. All right. Let's try that one more time with Sponge Glob. Um Make my way back over to the window. <coughs> to the wall! Let's get cookies at the mall. That sounds great. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's get Greasy Burger at the mall. <laughs> y yummy. Till the grease drip down my burger. <laughs> my improbable burger. -bur. <laughs> uh. That was the cleanest box jump I've done yet. Hell yeah, babe. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. You're so epic. Thanks. You're so epic. Thanks. You're s <laughs> <Dick. laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do Dick. this shit again. That's okay. Ah uh, yeah. Ah uh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. What the frick? Don't worry, your folks. What is he listening to? I don't know, you kind of just find a no. Nope, shit. I tried to do something cool and he didn't let me because of his fucking tartar sauce back. Shut the fuck up. Like fucking tartar sauce, bitch. I get it, because this good robot's got a lot of hands. Wow. What's a robot? Um. Bleep, bleep. I feel like a new sponge. Okay. Let me up. Yep. Hiya. Okay. So far, so good. There it is. Hell yeah. All right, and then the last one I will need to come back <laughs> with a uh, cruise bubble to get. So that that'll be much later. But um, we got yeah, nearly everything. Hell yeah. That's that's the closest one we have to a hundred percent level yet. Nice. Epic. That was a butchered sentence, but that's okay. All right. It was an epic sentence. Okay. And hey, that's like that's two hours on the dot. It's like thirty seconds past two hours. Hell yeah, that. Rules. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a quick break, stretch my legs, Me all that too. good stuff. And I've been here for like ten minutes, but I'm gonna take yeah, a break. It's, Real yeah, exhausted. Real yeah, worn out. It's been crazy. You're you're putting so much into this, babe. Um. And uh, when when we get back, I'm probably gonna go on to uh, Goolagoon, I imagine is the next one I'll go to. So, hell yeah. Um, have a good break, everybody. It, it shouldn't be more than like a couple minutes. Like this is, I, I'm, I'm taking short breaks. There might be like a couple longer breaks here and there, but like this this first one, I'm, I, I don't think it's gonna be super long. So uh, yeah, 
I'll, I'll be right back. See you in a sec. Bye, chat. Stay safe.